Hey everybody, welcome to the first uh, episode, first video on the my Cafe Racer build. This is going to be on the 1994 BMW K1100. Turn the camera around for you. It's a very nice shape. This video is just, you know, showing what the idea is. And then we're going to do a quick little oil change on her. Um, before we, that way we can run it for a little bit before uh, she gets turned off for quite a long time because you know, these, these things don't take a few days it's going to be it's going to be quite a long process a bit, very big learning curve but yeah this is the idea uh, it's going to be white um, originally I found a K100 for sale um, and it had these rims on it and whatnot. Um, but I found this K1100 for $600 more so I went with the K1100 with the four valve engine. Beautiful, it's a beautiful bike, it really is. Um, obviously all this stuff is gonna be going. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be cutting the frame, changing the seat, you know, you know how it goes with cafe racers. So pretty much for now the plan is doing an oil change, go for a quick, quick ride, one last ride before she gets turned into a pretty nice bike um, and then after we do the oil change then it's gonna the next video would probably be taking off all the fairings all the, the stuff that's you know not necessary anymore the stuff that is gonna doesn't make it very the stuff that doesn't make it look very pretty you know the seat's gonna go everything's gonna be taken off um, so I guess prepared for cutting the frame which obviously as you can see here we're going to try to do this is obviously not like this is just a drawing it's not accurate at all but in my opinion for cafe racers uh, the rear frame and the seat need to be even with the tank here so pretty much it's going to be a cut here up and then cut under the tank this bar right here cut and go up like that and they're gonna meet up there pretty much like in this drawing here pretty much like that um, and then we're gonna do a custom seat and everything but yeah this is a idea of what's my plan is for it to look like it's gonna be a pretty long process we already got the clip-on handlebars right here you know obviously these aren't clip-ons but the clip-ons will go on to the forks uh, these bikes do need a new triple tree if you're going to do a cafe racer on a K1100 um, because this ignition, like, it has it has a piece of metal that I'll, it'll, it'll be easier to explain once this is all off. But uh, yeah, new triple tree is highly recommended, um, and we got we got a triple tree that has the gauge in the triple tree, like it has a slot to put the gauge in a triple tree and I got the uh, I got an ace well uh, black aluminum gauge so that would go into the triple tree and then the, the bike has these oh, it's a little dirty um, temperature gauge fuel gauge and then so pretty much the gauge will be here in the triple tree and then we're gonna put the two little gauges on the side uh, I think that look pretty good I think that that look pretty clean um, and yeah, I mean, I guess let's do the oil change. Y'all, y'all got an idea of how the build is gonna look like? Um, yeah. Obviously, we're gonna be changing out the rims. I already bought uh, the five-spoke rims, so we're gonna see. Uh, the rear one is just you know it's plug and play. You just bolt it in. Uh, but the front one, that's gonna be. That's gonna be the interesting part because there's a lot of controversy on the front one. Like, you have to get spacers for it or different bearings. You gotta get different calipers for it. Um, so we'll, we'll figure that out when it comes to it. It's gonna be that's gonna be like the last thing though to put on. So um, because really, I'm not gonna. You gotta do the frame first. Get the frame powder coated because you have to take the whole bike apart. You gotta take literally the whole bike apart to get the frame powder coated. Obviously. And there's no point of putting clip-ons and doing a bunch of stuff until the frame is back from powder coating. 
and then you reassemble the whole bike and then you can start doing the fun stuff like the custom seat uh, the wiring uh, tray or the electronics tray that will go under the seat um, you know turn signals all the LED lights all that stuff oh and I got the magic box BEP 3.0 um, I'm not gonna be doing no M unit that's I'm already way in over my head here <laughs> with this whole project um, so yeah that's a little idea of how the build's gonna look like um, that's my plan for it um, it's gonna be fun yeah subscribe uh, you know like I'm still looking at the screen you must just be looking at the camera um, <laughs> So I gotta, you know, it's, it's, it's the first video, okay? It's, you gotta bear with me here. Um, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a fun project. Very big learning curve. Um, so yeah, let's do the oil change, and then next video would be uh, taking all this heavy stuff off of it because, damn, this. I gotta tell you, like, we have a Ducati at my work, and I sit on it. You know, it's my feet are flat on the floor. Everything, you know, it's fine. It's a 700 cc bike, I think. I wasn't expecting this bike to be that big. This is a big ass bike. So if you're planning on doing this, just know that these things are big. Like this is a big ass bike, especially with this big fairing on it. It's a big bike. Um, but no, it's gonna be beautiful. Definitely, it's gonna be beautiful. And you know, the tank's in pretty good shape. It has a little scuff here, um, but otherwise, the tank's in great shape. And then, yeah, we'll do the oil change. We'll get it. Start her up, and then, and then uh, we go to the fun part of taking it all apart. And hopefully, when it comes time to put it all back together, it runs. <laughs> so, yeah, this is really weird Re recording. Like, the oh my god, this is awkward as hell. I don't know how people do this. <laughs> all right, draining the oil. I obviously needed an oil change. How black that is. Uh, but yeah, so I'm using SAE 15W50 synthetic. Some people say you don't need it. Some people say you need synthetic. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, this is what uh, I'm using. Obviously, oil filter. Uh, you do need one of these special tools because uh, the the oil filter is recessed up in the engine. Um, I'll, I'll try to show that. It's pretty difficult to get the camera under there. Um, and then, obviously... Uh, new wash, uh, new seals. So, yeah, I mean, it's an oil, it's an oil change. Everyone should know how to do an oil change. It's, it's, you know, and it's not rocket science. Um, but yeah, I'll be right back when I'm done with this. All right, and I'll start her up real quick. Nice little BMW key. Changes the, you know, that's an oil change, it's pretty simple, but that was very really black. Um, that had to be done, and uh, yeah, um, also make sure you check out custom motors motorsportprints.com. That's gonna be this like the whole sponsor, what's gonna be funding this whole uh, awesome project. Um, be first link in the description custom motorsportprints.com. Pretty much, you upload um, a photo of your car, bike, whatever your vehicle, we turn it into a piece of art. Uh, work of art and uh, then we print it onto either uh, apparel, you know, clothing, uh, canvas, wall art, posters. Um, yeah, check it out. Link in top, first link in, first link in the description. Check it out and uh, subscribe. Yeah, stay tuned. I try to upload as much as possible. Um, uh, I'm very, this is awesome. Like, I'm so excited about this home build. Um, gotta clean out the garage a little bit get some more room in here especially once that fairing comes off that thing is huge um got some shop lights i think i'm gonna buy some more that way at night i can work and i have a lot more light and then you guys have a you guys can see it better too and then uh got one of those little lights too um but yeah subscribe stay tuned hit the bell um 
I'm excited about this build. It's gonna be pretty awesome. It's gonna be a huge learning curve, and I really gotta learn to look at the the, the camera, not the screen. <laughs> All right, peace out.